I was born and raised in Nigeria um, for the first 10 years of my life. My only dream was for the family to remain safe, um, was for my mother, uh, who, you know, who had been through quite a lot in the family to, you know, to not so stress out so much um, looking after us. Uh, and that was literally it. That was my only dream. When I started in the legal sector, I noticed that something wasn't quite right, that very few people looked like me um, in the industry. And I always wondered why that was. It made me feel as if the system was sort of built to exclude people that look like me. I have always been quite confident, so I felt that notwithstanding that, if I was good enough to belong or to work at a specific place, then I was good enough regardless of the color of my skin. But I don't think that that, is, that always holds true. I think that the system, there's almost this invisible glass ceiling and very few of us are, are allowed in and very few of us are generally allowed to progress. There is a large degree of imposter syndrome because when you look around, um, very few lawyers are from an ethnic minority background or look like you. Um, so you immediately start to feel like you don't belong. Then there are overt statements which are made, things that are said that are outwardly racist, which happens quite rarely, although I do know of instances where friends have, it's happened to some, some friends of mine. And then there are the microaggressions which happen. Being Nigerian, I hear a lot about, you know, my, you know Nigerians being corrupt or being fraudsters to being told that um, I'm too eloquent, that someone just didn't believe that I had done all the things that I said I had done um, as, a, as a professional. And you then start to wonder whether or not these things would be said to one of your white counterparts. Most of the work that I do is in Africa or other emerging economies. And when I look across the negotiating table uh, at my clients uh, and also the counterparties, they look more like me than at the place that I work. So that is helpful from a cultural perspective. I can bridge a gap, I can walk into rooms, I can go to places that a white person would simply not either be able to or feel necessarily comfortable in doing. Um, so I am, as a result, I'm very, very proud of being African. I'm very proud of being Nigerian. Um, I often mentor students, um, black students, or really anyone from an ethnic minority background which approaches me about a career in law. It's super important that people sort of engage with the world how it is, as opposed to how they want to see it. So because we know that there is a diversity issue, it's important that whilst it's not fair, we also take it upon ourselves as ethnic minorities to educate those around us and to engage in the conversation and try and drive the agenda in a way that also works for the business. However, something does need to change and um, law firms and professional services need to really, really start to engage with the problem. But black lives always mattered. They didn't just matter from about nine months ago. They always, always mattered. The start of it is the conversation. Um, but we, you know, we need to see tangible results. We need, we need institutions to, you know, hire more uh, ethnic minorities, retain them and promote them and actually celebrate our differences. It's going to be uncomfortable, extremely uncomfortable for those who are not ethnic minorities to have these conversations. Some of the stories that I've heard or that have happened to me are shocking, but nothing great comes from a comfortable place. We have to be uncomfortable. We have to have these conversations and it has to change. First thing is educate yourself. There are plenty of resources out there, plenty of books you can read uh, to understand your conscious and unconscious bias, your privilege, and what life might be like for an ethnic minority in the city. Secondly, empathize. Don't just read the words, don't just hear the stories, but actually try and understand 
and feel what those people feel. And finally, just engage, do something, join one of the people networks. And whatever you can do to make the lives of those who are, who look different to you just because of the color of their skin easier is exactly what you should do. Now is a great time um, for, for, for change to be impacted in the legal sector. It's, it's a marathon and, and not a sprint. Uh, as much as we would all want things to change overnight, typically they don't. I think it's important for, for any law firm out there to continue making their people feel comfortable, to continue to allow them to bring their differences to work um, and to allow them to really be themselves. Because only when that happens will you really be able to get the best out of people.